Hi, John. How are hey. you? Good. Good. Okay, so I wanted to, um, to first thank you for volunteering, and I wanted to um, just to get to just wanted to talk to you and get to know you a little bit better. Um, how everything is going? I know you guys uh, during the summer have a pretty um, tight schedule, so I do appreciate you taking the time um, to talk to me just about you know your future goals, your aspirations, your career, and your major. We'll let yes. you kind of to mom it. Um, All right. So to start off, like. Um, what are you, what's your major? Uh, my major is communications, uh, concentration in public relations, and also I have a social work minor. Nice, what made you, what, um, where did you get interest into this major? Um, so originally when I came to school, I actually wanted to be like an athletic trainer. And then, like, as soon as I got here, I was like, I don't really like science. I was like, I'm not gonna remember all the bones. <laughs> um, so then I, like, you know, started, I took the, like, SOAR, like, test, and okay. I kind of, use like my strengths weaknesses and kind of led me into like what like I can actually do and like what I can offer to like you know the world like after you know graduating from college and I was like I like communicating with uh, you know people I like helping people so I was like okay public relations give me like a mixture of both and then um, actually my sister completed her master's here for her social work and I kind of was like I like social work I enjoy working specifically with children, um, especially in the middle school age range. Um, so I was like, okay, social work may work. But I didn't know if I wanted to declare that as like my major. I didn't know if I wanted to switch because I still like public relations. You know, I like, you know, doing the events part behind it. You know, I really was into nonprofit work um, for a while. So I was like, okay, so social work, I'd be able to mix those both things and be able to do exactly what I wanted to do. That's awesome. Now, um, now taking, they're kind of different, but mm -hmm. I guess, they mesh well. Yeah. Um, where do you see yourself taking that major? Um, so I get confused a lot. Um, so part of me, you know, like I said, for a while I was stuck on I wanted to work in nonprofit. Exactly what I wanted to do. I'd be able to help people, you know, who are in need and also be able to put in my personality to every all the assignments, you know, different projects that I do. But then I um, took a job last summer as a parent counselor uh, for the EOF department. And, you know, I got to work with college students. I was like, oh, wow, like higher education. I'm like, wow, now I'm really confused. And then I'm going into my senior year. So it's like trying to figure out, dwindle down my decision whether or not I want to complete, like, you know, my, you know, master's in social work or do I want to do something more with higher ed. So I'm kind of a little torn between the two so middle school and college yes so it's like gap. student like middle school students or college students okay and what led you into your interest working with like kids in that um range? so basically where i grew up from a lot of kids don't have like you know father roles they don't have you know good role models people to you know show them the right way and i actually worked as a camp counselor for a couple summers and i worked with the middle school students and just through like simple conversations and how intrigued they were and like wanted to know more about me and what I did, like how, like the path that I took to make it to college, you know, especially in a lot of, like I work well with like, you know, young men who especially like athletics, they're like, oh wow, like I love football, you know, and sometimes, you know, even at a young age, you know, the first thing they say, you know, I want to go to NFL, but you know, you want to challenge them at that young age so they don't get, you know, brainwashed, think that they're going to make it to the NFL. You know, what else can you offer? Like, what else can you do besides football? Like, what can you do? What happens if you injure yourself and can't play football anymore? What else are you going to do? So that's kind of like what like made me want to work with students, that relationship, be able to be kind of like, not like a big brother, but like as a role model. Like, they take to see like what I did. I've been where they've been. You know, I used to have those same dreams of playing the NFL, things like that. But then I also knew that I'm worth a lot more than just athletics. So it's kind of like I like to challenge the students at that younger age, and they, you know, and I had success through it. So that's what made me want to work with middle school students. No, this is awesome. That's amazing, and I think you're gonna do a great job. A great okay. job with regardless of whether you work at the middle school level or at the college level. Mm -hmm. How was your experience working with EOF? Um, so my role as an EOF peer counselor, um, I was a mentor. Um, kind of like a tutor, uh, you know, and kind of like the person 
who like helped with the transition into the college life from high school. And I feel like it's important because like I had my peer counselors when I first came through to a uh, mom and that and through here web program, you know, and they were people who were honest with me, you know, and kind of helped me, you know, see like the bigger picture. Like, all right, college and high school are two totally different things. Like, you know, professors are not going to, you know, excuse you for like if you have a headache, you know, there's no such thing as, you know, oh, can I bring this in late? I didn't really have time to. Oh, my mom wanted me to do this. I didn't really get to finish my assignment. You know, challenging them, making them understand that, like, whatever you want in life, like, you have to work for. And it's kind of like what college is about. It challenges you to be prepared you for the real world. Um, and, like, in a similar to, like, um, working with, like, the middle school students, being able to, you know, be honest with students and also connect them in ways that you never, like, you know, think, you know, through co a simple conversation, they ask you, how did you get through your first year of college? Well, you know, I knew that, like, you know, college is different from high school. I knew that I had to work hard. This is a perfect time for me to start over. I'm in college now. My grades in high school don't matter anymore. What I did in high school doesn't matter. Like, I have a clean, fresh start, and I can make a name for myself doing things that I enjoy doing. So, and then from that, you know, I was able to gain strong connections with some of, like, the younger students. Um, and having them, like, take my advice and, like, actually put – put it to use, like getting involved, like, you know, we try to push that a lot because, you know, you can have the great grades, things like that, but sometimes employers want to know what else can you do besides, that way we know you can study, well, we know you can write a good paper, but like, how are you going to connect with other people, how are you going to help my business become better, like, you know, like, what do you, what else can you offer besides just your book smarts, so it was just like, being, I enjoy like being able to be honest with people and be real with them, not have to sugarcoat or lie anything to them. Be honest with them because that's the only way that they're going to learn is through experience and that's basically how I, you know, got into that role as well for, as a peer counselor. That's awesome. Now, um, coming transitioning into Monmouth, how, how was your transition? My transition was a little tough. It was a little different than most. Um, I originally wasn't going to come to Monmouth. I was going to go to another school for football. Um, it was a hard decision. I tell people all the time, it was like really like one of the hardest decisions of my life. I literally cried for like a week. I'm like, here I am. I played football for 14 years, uh, since I was four years old. And then now it's like possibly me not ever playing again. And, you know, I thank God for my brother. Um, he works at the College of New Jersey. Um, he's the assistant director of student retention. And, you know, we sat down and had a talk. And my two college choices came down. After I decided I wasn't going to take my scholarship offer to play football. Um, I, it was either here or TCNJ, um, and he didn't try to, you know, persuade me to come to TCNJ, even though he worked there. You know, he kind of just let me make the decision on my own, and I respect him for doing that. Um, and it came down, like, through conversations, you know, what do you want to do? So it's like, all right, I'm going to go to Monmouth. I can, you know, do things for myself for once. You know, I went to school with my older brother in high school and things like that. So I kind of, like... You know, I was like, all right, I need to do this on my own. It was like the first decision I made. And then at first, like my first semester was kind of hard. I still miss football. You know, a lot of people, like I knew a lot of people here on the football team, like, why are you not playing? You were so good in high school. Why are you not playing? Like, I'm, not, I'm just going to focus on academics. So it was tough, like, you know, the first year because I still, like, had football withdrawals. But then once I got involved doing more different things, I was able to, you know, transition pretty well. That's awesome. That's amazing. Um so now, from from what you're telling me, does it um, were you a first generation student? Um, no, my mom uh, attended Ryder. Okay. Uh, my dad um, just graduated high school, and then all my brothers and uh, sisters, three of them completed college completely um, with full degrees, and the other two like kind of like did like partial. So like you know, not first generation. Yes, so I had some. I'm the youngest of six, so I had a lot of you know good role models. People to lean on for yeah. information, definitely. That's great. Yeah. Um, well, thank you so much for your time. I think um, you have played an immense role here at Monmouth, and you're such a good advocate for students and just being um, honest and sincere. And uh, you're very well rounded as well, so I'm sure that you're you're gonna do great things in the future. And I thank you for your time as well. Thank you.